Debbie family and friends. Happy Friday. I know normally we do our Shakespeare Friday, but today we're doing something a little bit different. And I want to invite you in to my creative studio. This is where I plan classes and I take a lot of classes um, when I have my screen to clean up and I plan things. This is where I write and work on my shows that I do for myself. This is my creation, our dream studio, as I like to call it. And um, the reason I wanted to invite you in here today with me is we are in the process of developing and creating the Black History Show. We're doing the West Side Region of Senate. And I spoke to David. And what we'd like to do for the acting program, the acting portion of it, is focus on how we've been inspired to dream. Right? And we're going to focus on some quotes from well-known African Americans and how those quotes have inspired us to dream our possible dreams. So, and the reason, again, I'm inviting you into the studio is, for me, is I'm working on that right now. I have some quotes I want to share, but I'm still working on developing the show, which will be ready for Monday, the outline of the show. So we'll work it in class on Monday, and then we're going to take it on Wednesday in David's class. So I just thought I'd invite you in to where I create today get to know a little bit more about me. Again, when we look at our dream quotes, we will um, share them, we'll repeat them, and so that way we're still working on a little bit of cold reading skills. But as we read our dream quotes, and I'm going to share are these quotes um, from well-known African-Americans, I want you to think about how and what what you're hearing might inspire your dreams. And we'll talk a little bit more about that after um, we're done with the process. But before that, you know what we got to do, you know how I love to start every class. Well, I'm going to move my chair out and we are going to do some moving and grooving and then we'll get to our um, lesson for today. All right, but get warmed up, one of my favorite songs, I hope. So whether you're standing or sitting, let the, the music move you and move you. The great time to get that energy going. Mentally shrugging those shoulders, really getting that energy moving.
Okay, good. Let's bring that to the top. Good. Great job. Good. Let's take a deep breath in. I'm out. Another deep breath in. Blow it out. Another deep breath in. I'm blow it out. And what I'm going to do is the energy. So we're going to go reach with our right hand out. I want the energy to come through, shake your body, and go to your left leg. Right? Good. Then reach with your left out hand. Let that energy come to you and go down to your right. Good. And now let the energy go all to your body. Good. Good, 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 good. And stop. And energy. And stop. And energy. And stop. Good. Another deep breath. Pull out. Another deep breath. Pull out. And the thing around. round. Good. Okay, good job, guys. Good, good. Nice energy. Good. So, the way we usually do with that Shakespeare, we're going to go to the text, come back, shake it out. We'll go to another text. But I'm going to go into um, Shakespeare text. We're going to go to a quote. All right. We're going to do, do a quote, read the quote, say the quote a few times, and then we'll come back. We'll do another one. So, our first quote is from abolitionist Harriet Tubman. Okay, guys, here's our first quote. Every great dream begins with the dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength of patience and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Hey, okay, good, let's do that again. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Good, guys, good. All right. And, she, and we're going to look at the quote, said he then come back. Good job, good job, guys. And what I want you to think of when you hear every great dream begins with a dreamer. I want you to, as you listen to this in the next quote we're going to do, think about what that means to you. When you hear that quote, what does that mean to you? Okay, let's go to our next one from Frederick Douglass, who is an abolitionist. He was a writer, uh, orator, a speaker, and a statesman. Guys, repeat after me if you need to. Read ahead. And again, how are these words impacting you and how um, you're pursuing your dream? If there is no struggle, there is no progress. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. So, in other words, it's hard. Sometimes we have to work hard to pursue our dreams. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Good job. Good. And what do you think about when you hear that quote? That's what I want you to think about after you hear these quotes. What does it impact that this making on you? When you hear that, what do these quotes mean to you? Our next quote is from 
Fannie Lou Hamer. She was a civil rights activist and did a lot for voting rights in the South, the earlier part of the um, 20th century. So this is Fannie Lou Hamer. Okay, guys, here we go. Repeat after me if you need to. When I liberate myself, I liberate others. If you don't speak out, ain't nobody going to speak out for you. Okay, let's try that again. When I liberate myself, I liberate others. If you don't speak out, ain't nobody gonna speak out for you. Hey, good guys, let's try that again. When I liberate myself, I liberate others. If you don't speak out, Ain't nobody going to speak out for you. Good job, guys. Good job. Good, guys. And again, what does that mean to you when you hear that? You want me to celebrate African-American history? We're also celebrating the history of African-Americans fighting for equality, but equity and equality, but I also think in many ways, so are people with disabilities. So when you hear these quotes, how are they inspiring you and maybe things you've had to go through in your life and how does that inspire you? I want you to think about that, right? Let's go, another quote from Ida B. Wells. She was a journalist and a civil rights activist. Okay, and ready guys? The way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. Repeat after me if you need to. The way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. That's making people aware. Let's do that one more time. The way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. Guys, again, what does that mean to you when you hear those words? How are these words impacting you? My final quote is one of my personal favorites. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Let's go to that one. Okay, guys, like I said, this is one of my favorite quotes. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Good guys, let's try that again. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Oh, I love the back quote from Martin Luther King. It reminds me, and how it inspires me, that it reminds me no matter what, I have to pursue my dream and not give up, even when it's hard. And that's part of what I want to share, and when we come together on Monday, I want you to share what your dreams are and how the quote and about other, how other African Americans and what they've shared about how they pursued their dreams, how that impacts you. So for your homework, you can look up other quotes from well-known African Americans and you can just type in the 
chat quote from famous African Americans. I have that written down there, chat. Rather type that in your Google search, or you can bring on Monday a quote of how hearing some of the quotes I shared, how that impacted you. And we're going to share a short quote. I don't want them to be too long, okay? So we're going to share that on Monday, David and I. We're going to share that and work that, share that on Monday. And then on Wednesday, we're going to record that all to be a part of um, the Black Kids We Show during the Westside Regional Center. So again, I'll send out an email with all the information. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to us creating something together, which is why I invited you into my creative studio, because we still, this um, process is still a work in process. Um, but by next Wednesday, we're gonna have something really beautiful, and I can't wait till we do. So, I love that song, we love me so much. And we're all going to work together and lean on each other to create this beautiful piece of work. So let's end the, literally in the way we began with the same song because I love it so much. And guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye guys, you are so awesome.